We're going to turn next tonight to a highly charged standoff over child custody. A mother arriving to get her children trapped in her van by an angry crowd, a religious group, and they did not want to let those children go. The standoff lasting hours, and here's ABC's Dan Harris. This is what happened when a mother tried to retrieve her four children from a community dominated by the FLDS, fundamentalist Mormons who practice polygamy. That is Sabrina Tetzner right there in a van, swarmed by a crowd. The women in their traditional prairie dresses and updos. The FLDS is allegedly controlled by their imprisoned pedophile prophet Warren Jeffs. Tetzner left the group years ago and was recently awarded custody of her four children. But when she showed up in the remote desert community along the Utah-Arizona border that is the FLDS home base, the standoff lasted for hours until law enforcement reinforcements showed up with a search warrant. Right on my top. I recently made a trip to the community. Can we just ask you a quick question? In this exclusive interview, the former top lawman here told me the local cops would serve the church, not the people. My job was to protect the church. Protect the church? Yes. What you're describing is a straight-up theocracy. Yes, absolutely. This, this community has always been a theocracy. He is now cooperating with federal investigators who say the local governments here are controlled by the church. A charge these members of a local town council did not seem eager to discuss when I showed up uninvited at one of their meetings. It's a pretty serious charge. I would think that you would want to answer it yourselves. An attorney for the town council later insisted officials here do not take orders from the church. In the end, after an intervention from county sheriffs and even the FBI, Sabrina Tetzner drove off with her children. Dan Harris, ABC News, along the Utah-Arizona border.